All right, welcome back. Whoop. Welcome back to Appalachian Farmstead. This is my follow-up video on my solar fail. So, let me get you turned around here so I can see what the heck's going on. All right, so here we go. So all these panels up until this, these two, right, uh, this, on the second in row, I uninstalled them, took them off the racking at my uh, other house down with the grid tide system. Same exact panels, everything. Shuko panels, 240 volt, or 240 watts, sorry. And then, uh, and you can see I've got two extra here. So, I did this yesterday and I did not, in, I did not video it. That is a lot of work for one guy. I was out here by myself. So go down, I would uh, take two or four off, bring them up, put four on, go down. I didn't do any kind of wiring or anything like that. I just got them in and mounted and all that. So I still got to, like they're all bolted in, but they're not tight. I didn't, I didn't do any of that. And I'm still not going to until next week. But I got all the wiring tied up. And then here's what I've done. So first of all, this panel was in the old array, and so was this panel. These panels both tested good. So, and actually you can see when I originally tested, this panel was tested good. So it did not get hit by lightning. This panel is one of these that I repaired. So these two end panels here, these two guys here, are from the array that was bad. So that gives me hope that there's more of them that are good and there's you know just a few of them that are crap that are just taking the whole system down. So I just turned everything on and here's what I did. I did so I have it. It's being we got storms come our weather coming in tomorrow I guess. But it was bright and sunny here. So the first eight are on a string, second eight on a string, third eight on a string. So that gets me to 269 volts is what I was reading earlier. Uh, and like 20, 20 amps, 20, no, sorry. 20, I think I had 27 amps. Yeah, 27 amps. So got all my wires tied up with these, I don't know what they're called. I think I got them when I was a, I used to be a Shuko dealer. Shuko dealer and installer. So I was uh, like one of three in the entire state of PA. So that's why I have Shuko panels. When Obama pulled his stuff with the solar industry, um, Shuko said, I'm out, and they left. So it left all of us high and dry. And to be honest with you, I just, after that, being like a factory, I was factory, you know, I got my certification through Penn State to be a certified installer in the state of PA. And then when I became a Shuko dealer, I had to go to a week of their classes for their solar, uh, electric and solar hot water. Um, and after when Shuko left, I mean, you just, you never knew what, what product you were getting. You like, you couldn't go there and say, Hey, I'm going to give you, you know, Trina panels or whatever. You never, you never knew what racking us, you know, this is how I ended up with this free racking is because my distributor screwed it up. So it just became a mess. So, and I, you know, and it was uh, one of those things where I was doing it myself and I had like part-time help and you, you just, there wasn't enough, enough work around here to keep you going and try to keep people employed. This is not a job you can do yourself. No, I mean, I've, I've done up to 80, I think I have one in, one installation at 80 some, I forget what it is, 85 kilowatts. 
roof mount. Uh, but I'd say 90% of my installs were all ground mounts. We did a lot of ground mounts. But anyways, uh, so I did, I got my cables run. I had to rerun all of this because it was not right. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I, I feel good now. I was just watching my app. I don't have my phone with me, but yeah, I was just watching my app and um, it goes, so I have, I have uh, two refrigerators, one, two, three, three freezers, my internet, What else? I don't know. That's about it. Three freezers, two refrigerators. Oh, my solar hot water, or not my solar hot water, my uh, uh, on-demand hot water heater is plugged into it. And, man, I'm, I'm at like 3%. So, and it's funny, like, <laughs> I used to tell everybody when you were, when I was selling systems, it's like, you know, grid tied systems are better because they run wide open all the time. But, you know, I got five, uh, this thing here is 57, what is it, 57, 5,800 watts. It's 5.8 kilowatt system. And I was using 300 and some watts <laughs> to, to make everything run. So, but I'm pretty happy. I'm seriously happy. I got everything redone. I got to put an outlet. I run a wire down. I need to do an outlet right there. There's my junction box where all my home runs go into. And uh, I have two um, clear taps in there. Run the uh, cable down. And then it goes to a uh, DC circuit breaker. And thing into the uh, inverter. So, one thing I noticed, and I was like, I, I don't know, well, I'm not going to say anything at this point, but I need to test all those, those circuit breakers, or those panels, individually. And I'm probably not going to do that until spring. Um, just because, you know, I, I, we're doing this. The reason I did this was to be off-grid-ish. Going into the, the worst time of the year to be off-grid. But um, anyways, you know, our, uh, we, we run a farmstead, homestead around here. And we raise all of our meat. So... So if we, it, it's either in a freezer, it's either ca canned, freeze dried, or in a freezer. So, I mean, we provide for ourselves around here. And it's the same thing with the vegetables we grow. Um, you know, we have dairy, dairy goats, so we have milk. So when the power goes out, that puts our food supply at serious risk. So this is just peace of mind, and I definitely want to get more. Uh, I like to get that other those other panels fixed. And now that I've taken the panels from th that uh, grid tied system, I can actually bring that system, those that racking system up here. Be a little bit of a work, uh, but I can get them up here, and. Uh, I either mount them in front, either in front or behind. Um, but that's going to get done. But right now, my next step in this journey of off gridness, off gridness, is that a word? Off gridness is to more batteries and another inverter so that I can have 240 volt and I can put my well 
on uh, put my if I get my well on there and my uh, yeah that's the big thing right now is my well that's my main 240 volt um, load the only other thing that runs off of my uh, is 240 volts my dryer so and I don't care about that but yeah if I could get get my well then I'd be set I do have like you can see right there inverters um, I have three of them in the house so that would be something to have but definitely would need um, more solar which if I can get those other panels going I believe we could be you know we would be able to do it and then uh, we'd have air conditioning in the summer couldn't couldn't do air conditioning at night probably waste you'd have to have a help big oh man what is that no oh, stink bug that was a bee Jesus anyways I'm gonna shut up now so but I'm happy uh, 5.8 kilowatts here all working good these two panels were in the system that didn't work so that makes me feel good that there's panels are there's panels in there that are good maybe only a few of them were drawing it down so you know I was kind of freaking out when I turned this on I'll just I'll do this before I shut up is uh, when I turned this on I kind of forgot that it only uses these off-grid inverters only use what they need so um, we can definitely put some more more load onto the uh, onto the solar. Uh, just have to be careful that load is not being used at night. And you know, I think we're gonna do like a our, our washing machine um, on there that I can. You know, normally I do my laundry at night, put it on a timer, and do it in the middle of the night. But I think we could do that during the day run and run that thing off of solar all day so all right well hey thanks for watching and I appreciate everybody's comments uh, I really do and I hope you guys stay around to see how how things go and our journey of becoming as off-grid as we can and uh, you know a little bit of the farm life here all right. Well, thanks for watching. Give us, give me a comment if you think, uh, you know. Now that these two, I find out these two are good. That maybe only a few of them are bad. So, all right. Catch you on the next one.